Hello and welcome to today's Pause for Prayer. Today, uh, I've been thinking about our current sermon series on the story of Noah and the ark and the flood and the rainbow and all of the complexities of that story. And at the same time, I've been reading a lot of news about catastrophe, about things going horribly wrong and threatening lives in our world. Uh, and so today I want to walk you through something that I do fairly often, which is just praying through the news, praying through uh, the headlines that I see come across social media or on the BBC app or wherever I find myself seeing news. So today, in preparation, I just jotted down a list of things that I see in the news today and this week, and I want to invite you to uh, maybe discover one new way to read the news by praying through it and by acknowledging uh, some of the, the things that are not as they should be in our world and taking those to God. I'm going to use some language from our, our sermon series on Noah because it feels especially appropriate today. But pray with me, if you would. Dear God, as we uh, spend some time with the story of Noah and the flood, it seems that there are still floods happening in the world around us. Floods of, uh, from hurricanes and from actual natural disasters and floods of evil, floods of things that are threatening people's lives. And so, God, we have hope that your rainbow is still a symbol that catastrophe will not win today. And so we pray for your mercy, and we lift up these things going on in our world that are not as you desire for them to be. And we lift our hearts to you, calling out for your mercy. For the people in Beirut who are uh, suffering the loss of friends and loved ones, and, and seeking to find some peace and comfort after the explosion there. For migrants and displaced people who are trapped in camps, trapped on ships in Italy, or trying to find new homes. For all of the, the victims of crime and violence by cartels and gangs, by militant radicals, or by their own governments. So we pray for, for the displaced people who were attacked with a grenade in Cameroon this week. And we pray for the victims and their families of the, the shooting in the Democratic Republic of the Congo last week. We pray for the fires that are spreading once again in the Amazon this year. We ask for protection for the people affected by those fires, and we pray for this earth itself. We pray for the ongoing issues of our world, and we think about the, the children and the vulnerable people who are trafficked or who are uh, oppressed and forced to work in unsafe and unjust conditions. God, we pray for the ongoing corruption and racism in which wealthy people prosper and the least of these suffer the most. God, we believe that you are a God of mercy and a God of salvation. So we pray for these people who are overcome by wickedness raining down on them. We ask that rainbows would pop up for us and for people who need your peace and your comfort today. Show us good news and kindness from one neighbor to another that reminds us of your faithfulness. We pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God who loves and holds all people and all the world in your hands. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Go in peace.